These are the ski jumps, which are part of the Nordic events in the Olympics. And now, back to Alan. Celebrities are often asked to play sports in various charity fundraisers. Our hockey team will go anywhere, anytime for a good cause, sometimes even a mediocre cause. You're about to meet a group of people more famous for acting than skiing, but since acting is generally considered to be an uphill battle, this ought to be easy for them. They're participating in the Alberta 88 Celebrity Olympic premiere. The profits go to the U.S. and Canadian Alpine ski team. Here's Bruce Jenner at Nikiska, site of the Olympic Alpine events. We are at Nikiska, and we're ready for this big celebrity tournament. You know, we've got a lot of different celebrities here from different areas, like from the film world, from television, and from the athletic world. We have some very good skiers, like a Phil Mayer Olympic champion, to some skiers that are, well, just getting started, like Fawn Hollers, her first day on skis. Now, on the celebrity division, we do have some very good skiers. I'd say on the men's side, probably Chris Reeve is one of the better ones. And on the women's side, Mary Hart's very good. But one thing about all these celebrities is they get ready to compete, and they are very enthusiastic. You guys gonna teach me how to ski? Promise? Promise? Oh. <laughs> Snow was falling as the races got underway, and it was a real competition, but sometimes people got a little off course. Mr. Shander, this is your... Mr. Jenner. Yes, this is the second time that you've come back to this. I'm here to ski, and uh, skiing used to be the, the sport of my life. Now horses are, but skiing takes a... Uh, very close very, second. Very close second. Yeah, you sneak out as often as you can. That's right. Yeah. What about the gates? That becomes a different story. You know, when you want to turn, it's one thing, but when you have to turn, it's another deal. That's right. Uh, I've been practicing the step turn. Uh, oh, you're getting uh, pretty fancy. Well, I, I've been practicing. Is this, is this, <laughs> I didn't oh, say okay. I was going to do the step turn. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm uh, I'm going to try and do the, the gates as fast mm -hmm. as I can, like well, everybody else. Like and you should do quite well. I should hope so. We'll have to pick you as one of the one of the top, you know, contenders. Don't do that. Oh, okay. That puts a burden love on to, I know. We'd love to put a little pressure. A little pressure. Well, good luck to you. Thank you. For they got a little room out there. You can start practicing. I'm going to do it right now. Go for it. In Margot Kidder's case, head-to-head -head means something a little different. Oh! Bumped heads hard. Fortunately, it was cushioned by the Olympic mascot, Heidi. I've skied all my life, but I should be learning. Or I should be better than I am at this point. But uh, this is my first day out, and uh, the snow conditions are great. And uh, looking forward to the race. I just hope I make it down. Yeah, well, this this reminds the day reminds me a lot of the day I won the gold medal at Grenoble, the downhill, and it's uh, kind of the same feeling. I, I didn't really ski good that day, but good enough to win the gold. So. I don't know, I'm about to go up now and talk to the members of my team and see what we're all going to do. We've got a secret strategy we're going to work out. We're going to win. Chris, the scouting reports had you as the favorite in this competition, <laughs> that you spent days and weeks and months preparing for this competition. Is there any truth to that? No, no, there's, there's a little truth. I skied one day, I skied on Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. But I've never taken gates before, so I'm hanging around here to see what that's Well, it, it is one thing to be turn them when you want to, but right. turning them when you have to is a different deal. I know, I've never, I've never been able to follow the program, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but it says turn there, I don't know if I can do that. I'll find out. Yeah. But you have a lot. I mean, you're a pretty good athlete, and you've been uh, doing a lot of things through your life, right? I started skiing when I was a little kid. You know, I had a very gung-ho father, I still do, who you know, had a out sailing and riding horses and skiing and tennis and all this stuff. We were all action junkies growing up. So, uh, you know, I guess that's sort of always stayed that way. But it's funny, everyone will go out and pretend like, hey, it doesn't matter, it's just a celebrity race, who cares? When the bell goes, then it's going to be tense. <laughs> it is Are you tense. out there? Are you competing? I, I might, uh, yeah, actually turn a few. All right. I'm actually <laughs> looking forward to it. I think we should have already have a, a match, you know, yeah. maybe just a little head-to-head -head match at the end of the, sure, end of the day. Sure, I'll go for that, yeah. Um, I'm sure you would. <laughs> well, I'll see how good you are first. Okay. All right, you can get in there and practice. Good all luck right, to you. Yeah. Okay. Then I decided, no practice, let's just go for it and get it over with. I'm in the far lane, Chris Reed closes to us. We came out of the gates. I had a pretty good start. Good through the first couple of gates, and then right there I got wide. Chris kept a nice line all the way down through, and he's got about a half a gate lead on me. I start to make my charge. I'm pushing off each turn. Getting closer, making my move. I keep pushing, and oh, unfortunately, what do you expect? He's Superman. My team's going to do great. That's what's going to happen. We're going to win. Got special people on it. As you notice, I'm now a captain. I don't ski anymore. Our team's going to be best. We have won the pie eating contest, and we expect to win the potato sack races. What other races are you doing? The snow kept coming down. The conditions, well, they got a little bit thicker, and 
Ooh, there was a few slides across the finish line, but generally the competition was pretty good and well worth watching as some native Canadians got a good look at skiing Hollywood style. Now among the skiers, there was Cliff Robertson, Roger Moore, Cheech Marin of Cheech and Chong, Ed Begley Jr., Brooke Shields, Mary Hart, and Richard Dean Anderson, who appeared as at home on the slopes as he does on getting out of those situations he finds himself in on MacGyver. Now, you know what you're doing out here. No, no, no. No? I was uh, saying I've thought that survival is the name of this game. I'm having more fun than, than any adult should be allowed to have, probably. <laughs> I think I did sensationally. I finished standing up. It's the most important thing in this game is you have to finish standing up. Although I have finished a couple of times not quite standing up. I finished going forward. That was a new experience. Generally, I go through the gates backwards. Now, this is your maiden voyage to skiing, and you didn't, yesterday, you didn't know if you're really going to like this. It's cold, it's snowy, but then once you got the feel of it, this is really a great sport, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Bruce took us out with another friend, Tom Eason and Katie. We all went on the slopes, and he taught us how to ski and said, come on, Vaughn, don't get frustrated, you can get the feel, and the feeling came, and the feeling yeah. went today, but it'll come back. <laughs> it'll come back tomorrow. Well, good luck. Yeah. Keep up the good hard work. Thanks. Oh, and by the way, Roger Moore's team was declared the winner. Now, I wonder if this had anything to do with it. Uh, he was also the honorary chairman of the event. But before we leave beautiful Nikiska, here's Rita Coolidge, one of the skiers in the competition, doing what she does best.